Welcome back everybody, it's Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, and I'm here out in the Crusader Cruiser to try to help you out with a little problem you might be having. It was an issue for me and I wanted to correct it and I came up with this idea. So if you're like me, you may or may not have an all-star node in your vehicle. And it's always kind of tricky. Do I just power it off when I turn off the key? You know, do I put an enormous battery in the truck to leave it running for a long time? Or do I need to turn it off? Well, there's a lot of instances where I just need to power mine down safely. Because if you just yank the power, sometimes that SD card that your OS is running on will corrupt. Now, there are other ways on a Pi 5 that you could put a M2 drive on it and it may be less likely for it to corrupt. I have actually found out lately you can run your Pi 4 off of a USB drive. And I'm still playing around with that. But you still want to be able to shut down your mobile all-star link node safely and securely. And there are many methods out there a lot of us have not tried, but I found a quick method. Let's just punch in a DTMF code and it'll power it down. Let's say you might need to just reboot it if, if you're going down the road or you still want to leave it turned on, but you may be having an issue and you just want to reboot it. Hmm, I think there's a DTMF code for that. <laughs> let's get right to it. Okay, folks, let's get started. This is how we do it. We're going to go to our landing page, hit the web admin portal, and I go always to the terminal after I've logged in. And as you all know, I create a folder that is not in ASL3 by default. Etsy asterisk local. That subfolder local is where I keep all my script files. I have one called 1776 con.sh. It's short for connect. Then con disk is connect disconnect.sh. These script files are for my automated connects and disconnects to different nets and the like. Weather.ini is a file in there for the hourly, top of the hour time and weather conditions announcement. So we want to create a new script file and we're going to call it shutdown underscore server dot sh. So let's go sudo nano shutdown underscore server dot sh. Hit enter and I've got the entire thing right here. So the first thing we've got to put in is the customary bin bash. So they call it the shebang or the first thing's called the shebang. The pound exclamation point. And I also put in the forward slash bin, forward slash bash. And then here is some commentary. And when you paste it, it doesn't always go in the way you want it to. I don't know why. That just lets folks that get into the uh, script file later to know a little bit about it. It may tell what the commands are doing. It may tell you who wrote it, etc, etc. Et okay, now we're going to go in here and throw in this line and then we'll throw in the actual command here. So the first line is your shebang bin bash. It just kind of invokes the whole purpose of the file. And then the next three lines are just text commentary. The next line is the log to log the reboot action, which we need to change that to shutdown because I'm adapting this for both actions. Log the shutdown action for debugging purposes. And the echo here is the actions to do the log file to create a log file for debugging purposes. And then the very last two lines, first one is commentary, the second one is the actual command to do the shutdown. So we're gonna do a control X, yes to save, enter to exit. And as you all know, see that it is still in Y, so we have to make it executable. Since we're in the terminal and not in root, we've gotta type in sudo chmod plus X space shutdown server dot sh hit enter do a lsl again and now it is executable so now how do we get it to execute hmm well first let's make sure our file works so from this directory we can type in sudo dot slash shutdown server dot sh and hit enter boom 
and it is disconnected. So let me break for a second. I've got to go upstairs and turn the node back on, so stand by. Okay, now that we're rebooted, we need to modify our rpt.conf file to put in the DTMF command to make this execute. So let's go to sudo nano etsy asterisk rpt.conf and here we are. So we want to thumb down here to functions and you can see here's where I put in my SM my uh, supermon update command for supermon 7.4 plus. So we want to grab these two lines and paste them right into the functions stanza of rpt.conf. And it basically it says here in the comment, define the DTMF command that will trigger the shutdown. 990 equals command etsy asterisk local shutdown server.sh. So that is the script file that will should execute if we do a star 990. So let's save this. Control X, yes to save, enter to exit. And we are going to reboot the entire node. We could just reload asterisk, but you know me, I like to reboot. Be right back. Okay, so we're back and we're rebooted. So let's see if this worked. I know you can't see my uh, my walkie-talkie, but I wanted you to be able to see the screen. You will be able to hear the DTMF tones as the uh, HD puts them out. But the screen should go blank if the commands work. So let's uh, key up, hit star 990. And look at that, folks. We are shut down. How about that business, huh? Now, how do we reboot using our DTMF command, huh? Huh? <laughs> let's give it a try. Okay, so our server shut down as it should. I went back upstairs and turned it back on. And that's the thing about the shutdown command. You have to physically go back to the node and power it back on. Uh, if you have an inline switch on your power switch, it's a flip of the switch. If you don't, you've got to pull the plug. I like to give it about 10 seconds. Plug it back in and let it root, uh, boot back up. So, not the same with reboot. If you just want to do a reboot, it will reboot. So, pretty much the same process. So, let's get started. I go to Etsy asterisk local. And now, if you don't have an Etsy asterisk local subdirectory, you need to go to CD et, et, Etsy, CD Etsy asterisk. And once you're there, you're going to do a sudo mkdir space a local and hit enter that will create that subfolder, but you've got to be an Etsy asterisk for it to put it under asterisk. So F Y I. So since I already have one, I'm going to go into my local file, take a look at what's there. And there are my script files in that one INI file. So we're going to create sudo nano reboot underscore server dot S H. And here we are again. And these notes will be in the description, but I always like to start every script file with a shebang bin bash command order, what have you. And to avoid any awkward mispasting, I'll just do line by line real quick. I gotta change this. I adapted this from the other one. This is the same functionality, just a different function. Okay, we're gonna copy that, paste it there, put in a gap, I like gaps. And then right there at the end it is the actual command itself to reboot. And it will also create a log file in var log all star so that you can do any debugging if you need to. So control X, yes to save, enter to exit, and ls-l, and this should be white, and it is. So let's make it executable. sudo chmod plus x space reboot server.sh. And now it is executable. So now let's go and put that new line in rpt.com. So we can do a sudo nano etsy asterisk rpt.conf boink and pop back down here to the functions stanza. 
and there's our command lines we put in for the shutdown so let's put them in for reboot and this one is going to be 991 instead of 990 okay so an important thing you need to know about DTMF commands if you have a DTMF command defined in rpt.conf to be just star 9 and then you come in behind that and to put in a three digit 990 or 991 rpt.conf is going to look at that star 9 first and it's like oh I got a definition for that and it's going to execute it. it's not going to wait for you to type in any more digits so you can't have just a plain star 9 if you're going to use a three digit number that starts with a 9 does that make sense let's say you have a star 99 in there somewhere and you try to use 990 or 991 it's going to stop at that second 9 if it doesn't have a def definition for just a star 9 and then you type in star 99 and you do have a definition in there for star 99 it's going to execute that command it's not going to wait for that third digit so if you use 990 or 991 you can't have a one digit or a two digit number that's nines so just try to keep that in mind i know it's kind of weird but it's dtmf etiquette when it comes to rpt.com and since we only have these two nine nines in here they're three digits when it hits 99, it knows it's not going to have a definition for that. So it's going to wait for that third digit. So zero will be your shutdown and one will be your reboot. All right. So once it's in there, we're going to hit control X. Yes to save, enter to exit. And it did. So control X. All right. So let's pseudo reboot. Okay. We're rebooted. We're ready to go. Our command should be set. Like I said it before, you won't be able to see my walkie, but you'll hear the DTMF tones, but we want to see the screen blank out when it reboots, if it reboots, because we're doing this cold. So let's see if it works. And our command is star 991. <laughs> and just like that, it is rebooting, we hope. So we're going to stay right here. We're going to make sure that the node reboots and know that uh, I believe we've got a working script file going here. Good morning. The time is 9 a.m. Weather conditions mostly sunny. Temperature 47 degrees. And our node has rebooted. We can go over here to Almon, refresh it. And everything is there. And my auto connects engaged as well. How about that business, y'all? We got some functional DTMF commands to help us out with All Star Link version 3. Hey guys, I appreciate everything you do for the channel and I want to thank you for supporting us as you do. Consider becoming a channel member. It really helps keep things moving forward and I appreciate it all. We got more videos on deck, All Star and other ham radio related. I'm doing some POTA now and having a lot of fun. And I got some radio reviews on deck. So come come along on an adventure with me. I'm having fun and I want you to join me. Hey, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours and ham on, y'all. Yeah.